Hey guys, so I am trying out uh, roasted chestnuts for the very first time. I watched uh, the Vegan Corners video yesterday on doing roasted chestnuts and I remembered that our grocery stores have mounds of them right now. So in their video they talk about soaking them, so I've already soaked uh, all of these chestnuts. And now I'm going through the scoring process, so I'm putting little X's into the chestnuts, if you can see that there. Hopefully. I love how this camera always wants to focus on my face. Check out the chestnut. There. You can see a little score there. Um, it's a little harder to do than I expected. Um, but anyway, I'm working my way through that right now. So just trying to, and it says not to cut through the pulp, so I'm not sure if they mean not to slice it completely open or to be really careful not to get in there. But uh, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. We'll see how they turn out. Okay, so I'm a few more through now and I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of this. I'm not sure if the first couple were duds or I'm just kind of learning the right pressure to use but it's going a little bit better <laughs> okay here are the chestnuts ready to go in the oven I'm just gonna take this sheet of parchment paper and put it directly on a tray so you can see that the chestnuts all have little scores in them hopefully I did it right we'll see what turns out Okay, it's smelling really good in here, so I just brought these guys out. Um, I probably shouldn't use my bare hands on tin foil. So I'm just gonna pop them open, see what's happened here. All right, so some of them cracked open and some of them didn't. So maybe they need to stay in a little longer or maybe um, I didn't score them enough. Any tips, anyone? Okay, so what it looks like here, I did a little bit of picking. What it looks like is that I actually um, didn't score them deep enough. Maybe we can get this one to focus. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks like I didn't actually score deep enough. I was so worried about cutting right in through them that um, I didn't actually get through the first layer. This one's actually a really good one for you to see. Yeah, so you can see it there. So that reddish stuff, I didn't quite cut through. So I'm just gonna have to pick through these, but they look really cool. I'm really excited to uh, try them out. Hopefully they're edible, even though they didn't get a chance to pop open. And uh, that's that. Okay guys, so this is kind of what we've got left. I had a, a lot of shells. Um, a lot that I'm not really sure about, but I did get a couple good ones here. And I just want to share with you guys, so I had a little bite, um, and they're so, so yummy. This is like my new favorite food. It's like, this one specifically is like, it's a little dry. But it has this like incredible sweetness. So I'm gonna go to the store again. Now that we, <laughs> now that I know that we have chestnuts at the store and I know how to do this, I'm gonna buy another bag and give them a try and see if I can get them to all open up. There were a couple moldy ones in there that kind of had, you know how oranges go moldy and they've got that dust, that green dust. So these, there was a couple, couple little poofs in there. 
but this this is so good um yeah i highly recommend it i'm gonna post the video down below that vegan corner posted about roasting chestnuts and if you like this video <laughs> give it a thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later mm. <laughs> Bye.